What's going on, Paranormal World? The show Kindred Spirits has flew under people's radar for quite a while now, and I'm sure diehard paranormal fans know of the show, but casual paranormal fans might not. And the show is six seasons in and 44 episodes so far. And for those who don't like those big locations, this could be a great show for you because they mainly focus on family homes being haunted. Ghost Hunters alumni Adam Berry and Amy Bruni are the ones who made this show Kendra Spirits come to fruition. And they recently brought in a full-time psychic medium. The latest episode of Kendra Spirits was pretty decent. Could have been better, sure, but nothing's perfect. And I haven't watched it in a while, so it was definitely refreshing watching this episode, opposed to the typical ghost hunting shows that you watch nowadays. But in this particular episode, a notorious family left a mark in this house dating back from the 1890s. And I'm referring to the Fee family. The Fee family was wealthy and powerful. But during that time, they lived a glamorous lifestyle. But they also had constant tragedies that happened one after another. The father, he died of a heart attack. The mother, she was burned. And the daughter killed herself by using acid on the porch. Now, this whole episode really centered around that daughter and trying to figure out, was it a murder or was it a suicide? So, they really didn't get to the bottom of that. But Drew, the current owner of the property, has been hunted ever since he bought the house. Now, he didn't know the history prior to buying it, and now he's having a little buyer's remorse. But, you know, he's experienced all type of things. Books dropping, disembodied voices, he's seen apparition of men and women. And, you know, if you're looking for a high-paced, chaotic, paranormal show, then this is probably not it. It's more relaxed and methodical, and that's not a bad thing at all. And I want to also mention how I like that they used the spirit box, but they had headphones on to eliminate all that static sound because I hate that sound, especially when they do it on Ghost Adventures. But one major negative I did have about this show was the psychic medium. Now, the psychic medium, he was reading the property, you know, he was reading the energy, and he was on Zoom or Skype or whatever you want to call it. And I'm like, how can you read the room and feel the energy if you're not physically there? And I don't know how that worked, but, you know, I couldn't take it serious for that particular reason. Oh, and also, during the initial walkthrough, the owner of the property, you could tell that it was a lot of editing going on with his answers and you know, the questions, and, you know, it kind of threw me off a little bit, and that's just a pet peeve of mine, um, most people probably wouldn't notice it, but, you know, I noticed it at first watch, but overall, it's a nice show to watch and relax, and maybe, you know, you can have it playing in the background while you're not really paying attention to it, but, you know, Kindred Spirits, I mean, I'll watch it, but at the same time, I'm not gonna, you know, watch it constantly, you know, I might be and watch it one day, but other than that, you know, it's a cool show, but like I said, it's a lot of cool shows on Discovery Plus, and um, yeah, I, I mean, Kindred Spirits, I, I might give it another try after this, because like I said, the episode wasn't bad, but it wasn't all that amazing either, it was just right in the middle. So what do you all think about Kendra Spirits as an overall TV show? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you right there in the middle? And if you love any and everything paranormal or horror movie related, then check out my videos. And if you like them, then subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so you can see every time I upload. As always, be safe. Peace.